Bye. Okay, good evening, Elite Intellect, and we're live once again here at IFNG. And tonight, we have another wonderful and active lecture, of course, with Elite Intellect. But before that, that we have a new member of the family. As here at IFNG, we have a new member and administrator. He's from Saudi Arabia and working as a clinical laboratory scientist. And IFNG is not only for nurses. We also welcome those other professionals. And we have Sir Manuel De Leon. Sir Manuel, welcome to IFNG Family and Elite Intellect. Welcome, Sir Manuel. Say hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, sir. Hi, Mama D, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan na. Sige na. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, Gladys. Welcome, Ayan Sir na. Manuel. Yeah. Welcome, Sir Manuel. Welcome to the family. Don't worry. We're a bunch of crazy people. I am crazy. I am crazy. I am crazy. Ayan na. Easter time na yan. Alright. <laughs> Ayan <laughs> All right. So. Go, sir. Go, sir Manuel. Your first introduction. I'm excited for you. I, I have to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Manuel De Leon. You can call me Manny. And I'm here just like uh, Mom Gladys and Sir M. If you need any help, I'll be there. And I think if you pass the exam, you have the option to attend my podcast. Uh, every Thursday for those people who want to join us. It's a pretty chill, uh, I would say it's a pretty chill podcast. You can be as dirty as you want. You can do whatever you want. But remember to be at least, uh, cordial, at least be cordial to uh, the people around you. All right. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Manuel. Thank you so much, Mr. Well Mr. Well. It was so nice meeting you also, Mama D. Yes. <laughs> We're excited. We're excited for your Ariana Grande over there. I love that. <laughs> Kailangan magkaroon ako ng ganyan. <laughs> Hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome to another fun lecture here at Elite Intellect Night. And of course, brought to you by IFNG. So tonight, we are going to be discussing about motivation and mental preparation of the IELTS. Believe me, when I tell you guys that it takes a lot Okay, of courage and mental strength for you to be able to surpass that examination right there. So if you are about to give up on your examination or if you are about to say, no, I don't want to do this anymore, Mama has got your back tonight. Okay. But before that, let me just say hello to each and every one. For our Ilocano watchers, Auntie Uncle Manong Manang. Inya si Dam, charing. <laughs> Maayong gabi i para sa mga kaibigan natin from Visayas and of course from Korea. Charing. <laughs> okay, so let me just share my screen for you guys tonight for our discussion. Okay, if only I can find it. All right, there it is. Okay, guys, so. Hello, it's pretty nice to meet you. If it's your first time to join us here at the live of IFNG, my name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and CEO of Elite Intellect Line Philippines, okay? I am also CELTA certified, a graduate of language, methodology, and theory from the University of Cambridge, and of course, also known as your mother dragon. But today, allow me to be your friend, okay? I want to be your friend for today because I have seen a lot of students recently, Okay, who are telling me, sir, I'm about to give up with my goals. I don't like the IELTS anymore. Okay, or I have failed the IELTS many times before. And if you were able to experience that, then this discussion is for you. Because tonight, I will be teaching you on how to handle that with a strong mind. Okay, and a strong heart for you to become that IELTS certified person that you are. Diba, friend? <laughs> okay. Okay. So yes, welcome guys. For those of you who are new here at IFNG, know that I at Elite Intellect is live every Friday here at IFNG. All right, so before we even begin, okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, I want to get this out of the way. Who among you, okay, has failed the IELTS before? Honesty is the number one cure to failure on the IELTS, okay? Believe me, if you have failed the IELTS before, 
okay? No matter how many times that is, honesty is still the best thing that you could tell yourself to do, okay, to boost yourself forward. Because honesty always comes with acceptance, okay? And acceptance comes with work afterwards, okay? So yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay if you, if, you, if you did fail dials before, it's totally fine. There's no shame, okay? There's no shame. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of students worldwide failed the IELTS, uh, failed the IELTS before. But the main difference between that student who failed and that who did pass the examination is that the one who passed the exam did not give up at all, okay? So that's one thing that I'm going to be teaching you tonight is that for you to keep on pushing forward towards your goal in an easier way, okay? So as to ensure that you guys are going to reach that, uh, reach that May Plus Ultra of your goals. All right, so by definition, guys, we see failure as the missed accomplishment or goal that we have that we are not able to meet. It is a shameful thing and people will see this as a weakness on our end. That's by definition, believe me. It's a definition of others when it comes to failure. But what if I tell you that failure is not a shameful thing, okay? Failure is not a no, but rather it is wait, okay? Find me a successful person who did not fail. I can guarantee you they do not exist. All the successful people in this world, CEOs, students who got, students who got like um, the highest scores in their classes, okay? Business people, all right? Scientists, everyone, okay? Has failed before. But the only difference between the person who failed and the person who succeeded is that the person who succeeded did not throw in the white towel. Again, I want you to do this with me, okay? This is a good exercise right now. Okay, tell yourself, I'm not going to throw in the towel. When you say throw in the towel, it means for you to just give up on your dreams and then let go of everything. I have seen students like that at the brink of giving up. And what have you? The last time that they tried to prepare for their IELTS examination, that is the time that they have gotten their target scores. Even on the seven, eight, nine take, there are already a lot of students who pass before you at the brink of giving up. Accepting that you failed will always wake up your senses for you to become that person that you wanted to be. Let me share to you my story, okay? I am a failure. Yeah, before. I am a person who does not have a future at all. I am a nurse, but then again, I don't want to become a nurse anymore. So I became a flight attendant and then I don't want to become a flight attendant anymore. And I, so, I see those things as failure on my end because there's no particular direction in where I want it to be. But then at that time, when I told myself that enough is enough, okay, I may have failed many times, but I'm about to bounce back up. So I went to Cambridge with the last money in my pocket because it's a scholarship. I only would need my pocket money for that. I finished my degree and then I started Elite Intellect Line. Elite Intellect Line is not brought about by failure, okay? Elite Intellect Line is brought about by the drive to strive. And I want you guys to have that. I want you to have that drive right there to strive for the better, to strive for what, what you would believe yourself, the, uh, what, what you would believe yourself to deserve in the future. You strive for that. Or even if you cannot do that for yourself, do it for your family. Do it for your children. Do it for the people who are expecting more of you. Okay? Failure is not a shameful thing. Okay? Now, the way to handle failure is to understand which part of the dedication, willingness to learn, not being comfortable, and working systematically did you not do. Because I have seen a lot of students, okay, I'm sorry if you will feel that you can relate on this one, but I have seen a lot of students before who, who were not happy with the idea of not being comfortable at all. Yeah, as humans, we're always looking for our comfort. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, even when you sleep at night, you're looking for your comfort, right? But then again, my dear darling lovies, let me tell you one thing. There is nothing comfortable about the IELTS preparation. 
And if you're comfortable with your IELTS preparation, you should think twice. Okay? There is nothing, okay, nothing comfortable about the IELTS preparation. Okay, you will you will experience nights with which you are no longer you're no longer sleeping because you are coping up with new things with your review. There are nights with which you don't you cannot even focus at work because you are focusing on your mock tests. And there are nights that you are going to be crying on your preparation. It's, that's totally fine. Okay, there's nothing comfortable about success, okay? If you are comfortable about what you're doing right now, then my love, you're not on your way to success. I can guarantee you that, okay? Step out of your comfort zone. That is our magic keyword for this one tonight, okay? Now, what else? Failure is a friend, okay? Who is there to remind us to work, to strike like no one else, and to set our goals towards our success? Believe me, there is nothing comfortable about success. Who among you here experiences that one small voice in your head? One small voice in your head saying, oh, no, 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 don't give up. Don't give up. You can do this. Okay. There's a bigger voice in your head who's saying, okay, you should give up. You just throw in the towel. Okay. Let go of your goals. But then again, there's this one tiny voice in your head who says, no, don't listen to that. Okay. Keep on going with your goals. Keep on doing what you're doing. Because once you get to the United States of America, you, you're not only going to have a better life, you can also provide a better life for your family. That small voice that's ringing in your ear, that's inside your head. Listen to that small voice, okay? I want you to listen to that small voice right there because that is the voice of truth. The bigger voice that I was talking about earlier, that's not the voice of truth. That small voice right there, you listen to him or you listen to her because she will keep or he will keep on pushing you until you get there, okay? That is a friend right there. All right, so next one, set your IELTS goals, okay? I have a lot of students asking me, sir, how do I review for the IELTS? What's the first step with my IELTS preparation? What is the first thing that I need to do with my IELTS preparation? Okay, so set your IELTS goals first, okay? The truth. I know you have heard this thousands of times before and you are tired of people telling you to set your IELTS goals, but I will teach you on how to do that particular thing right there, okay? So my question is, first, has the IELTS examination become your priority lately or you're just preparing for the IELTS when you feel like it? Mm. Real talk to guys, ah, huh? Mama D cares, okay? Again, the question is, has the IELTS examination become your priority lately? Or are you just preparing for the IELTS when you feel like it? Okay, I'm free today. I'm not, I don't have anything to do. I don't have work. It's my day off. So I'm going to review. Or the IELTS is your priority. Which one? Priority or not priority? Come on, type in your answers. I love interactive students. Let's go. Okay, for Gladys of IFNG, priority. What about the others? Okay. Priority, very good. Okay, good, good. Okay, there we go. Priority, priority, priority. Okay, priority. Not my priority before from Cali. Okay. Just when I feel like it from Dell, okay? That's okay. All right, guys. One thing that I would tell you right now is that if you're not prioritizing your IELTS preparation, okay, it would be longer, okay? It will be longer. Believe me, I have seen students before. I have seen students before who are not focusing on their IELTS review, who are not focusing. They're just, they just come in and then they, they get out, okay? And then when you ask them, okay, it's time for your coaching, you're, or you're already a student of elite intellect for like three months and you, I have not coached you. And they will make excuses. They'll be like, mm, I'm sorry, sir, I cannot go. I have work. And then they're going to tell me, sir, I'm going to take the exam. I always ask my students to reschedule if that is the case. But then again, uh, the student will go to the exam, take the exam, and what have you. You might have guessed the ending. Do you think that student will pass or fail? Do you think, my lovies, that student will pass? Or fail? Ah, they failed. 
they failed. They failed miserably. Okay? Kahit patulog po, napapanaginipan ko po siya. Diba? <laughs> Para mga estudyante ko, Sir, alam mo, napapanaginipan kita. Huy, alam nyo ba? Pag napanaginipan mo daw ako bago ka mag-exam, makakapasa ka. Oo, marami akong estudyante ganyan. Napapanaginipan ako bago mag-exam. Hindi lang 7.5, 8.5. Kaya, Diyos ko, kailangan mo panaginipan nyo ako. Let me be the mother of your dreams. Charing! <laughs> Okay, so yes guys, prioritize your IELTS preparation, okay? It's just a little sacrifice with lifetime benefits, okay? Very little sacrifice. Let's say one month to two months of preparation, but the benefits are way so much, more than what you're expecting, okay? So you need to set your goals because the chances of you finding what you want without a clear target to move forward are right around zero, okay? Setting goals should be the number one priority for people seeking Success. Okay, let me just check my audio, guys. Okay, just go. Sana sir, mapanagidi pang kita sabi ni. Okay, hold on, guys. Uh oh, what happened to my uh, live monitor? Okay, hold on. Let me just check my live monitor, guys. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, guys, look at this one. Let's focus on this phrase real quick, okay? The chances of you finding what you want without a clear target to move forward are right around zero, okay? It's like you're driving a car and you have closed your eyes while you're driving. Do you think there's a positive outcome to that? Ang positive outcome doon, pag nabamaneho ka na nakapikit, pag dilat mo, kulay puti na lahat o kulay pula, di ba? <laughs> But then again, guys, don't... Target something blindly, okay? You have to tell yourself, okay, um, Joseph, I think I need to focus on my review, maybe dedicate like three days out of a week for this one. There you go. That would be a good prioritization, okay? All right. All right. I hope I'm going to give you a little Joe Bert. Okay. Set alarms, planning to take uh, leave, na rin, listening to podcasts, and keep telling myself that's not enough. Yeah, that's a good way to target your goals, guys. Okay. So, You need to break down what is your end goal and break down exactly what it takes to get there. Okay? Here's a good logic for this one. Um, is there a successful person who woke up one day that they're already successful without even working for it? May ganon? Ha? Yung naging CEO na lang sila bigla ng kumpanya nila, hindi sila nagtrabaho? Bukod sa pamana? Walang ganon, guys. No? Unfortunately for us, okay, for us middle class people, not the high end people, no, we have to work for our goals all the time. Okay, we have to work for our goals all the time. So that's one thing that I would want you guys to remember is that you need to set, break down what is your end goal and what are the things that you're going to do to get there. Okay, okay, let's say I want to be better with speaking. So what should I do with my speaking practice skills? So I would need to practice my skills every single day, maybe for the first month. Okay, and then after that, every other day. Okay, and then before my exam, I will go back to every day. That's a good goal right there, guys. Okay, that is a perfect goal right there. Okay, all right. Now, let's take a look at how you properly set your IELTS goals. Okay, how do we properly set our IELTS goals? Okay, number one, assess your capacity. Okay, let's do this right now. Okay, I'm your mama. Don't be shy, okay? What is your IELTS level? Beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Come on, I want to see answers right there. Honest answers, okay? Are you a beginner? Are you an intermediate student? Or are you advanced? Thank you so much, Dental World Manila. Telling you. Okay, so we have beginners here. There we go. Okay, so we have Gressel May, beginner. Gladys, beginner. Okay, JLT, beginner. Okay, beginner for Hazel. Beginner for Rachel. Beginner, 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 beginner. Beginner to intermediate for Jeremiah. There we go. Intermediate for uh, follower. Beginner for Yok Yok. There you go. Okay, Maureen, beginner. See, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing honest answers right here, which is good. Okay? I am seeing honest answers right here. 
which is good, okay? You label yourself always as a beginner, okay? Not advanced, no matter how good you are, okay? There are still things that you would need to learn, okay? There are still skills that you would need to master for you to get the target score on the IELTS examination, okay? So label yourself as a beginner, okay? All right. Let me just share this. Every time that people ask me, Joseph, what is your secret to success? I never tell them that I am successful. I never tell myself that I am successful. I am not successful. I'm on my way, but I am not successful. You should tell yourself that, okay? No matter how good you are in speaking English, you're a beginner. That's totally fine, okay? What else? Dedicate some time studying and learning. Okay, uh, Sir Joseph, the word dedicate right there is a little bit scary for me. So what is your definition of dedicate some time? Okay, so as a beginner student, you would need to spend at least one to two months preparing for your examination. That's my minimum number of recommendation, okay? One to two months. No matter how genius you are, it's virtually impossible for you to prepare for the IELTS for one day, two days, three days, four days, a week, okay? So dedicate one to two months for your preparation on the IELTS examination. Find a dependable partner. Okay, so what's a dependable partner? A dependable partner could be a review institution, could be a Facebook group like this one, IFNG is a dependable partner. There you go, or a review institution, whatever review institution that is, a person who shares the same goals as you. That's what I tell my students always, is that you create buddy systems, okay, with which your, your buddies are on the same target as you are, okay? Your buddy is targeting to go to the U.S. too. Your buddy is targeting to get a 7.0 in speaking too. Your buddy is targeting to go to, uh, what do you call this, to get a 9.0 on the exam. Get a dependable partner. My love, okay? Sir, I have a question. Is Google or YouTube a dependable partner? On my review, it could be. However, Google and YouTube could not give you a feedback. Yeah, okay. Google and YouTube could not give you a feedback. That's one thing that I always tell my students, okay? Google and YouTube could not give you a feedback with what you do. You cannot submit, okay? You cannot submit a work with Google, okay? And then... It, it, it returns with the feedback of Google on it, okay? Or you cannot submit, like, or you cannot tell, call YouTube and say, hey, YouTube, I want to do a speaking coaching. No, they cannot do that for you, okay? Shout out to the people who have been my speaking buddies out there. Sabi ni Manuel, oh, true din, di ba yung mga speaking buddies natin? Ay, naku, nakakatuwa. Okay. Accept that it will not be easy, okay? This is what I always tell my students, okay? It's not a cakewalk, okay? The IELTS review preparation is not a cakewalk, let alone the exam, okay? If you, if you feel that your preparation is a cakewalk, uh, 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 my love, it's not effective. Yan ang lagi ko sinasabi sa mga estudyante ko, nanghihingi ako ng pasensya pag nahihirapan sila. Because gusto ko na nahihirapan ng mga estudyante ko para pagdating sa exam, madali na lang, no? That is the way to learn, okay? You get all the difficult things right now. Okay, do all the difficult things right now so that when you get to your exam, it becomes glib for you. Okay, what else? Learn the art of discomfort. Okay, there's nothing comfortable about success. Again, what's our mantra for today? There is nothing comfortable about success. Okay, what else? Allow yourself to grow. Uh, Sir Joseph, I'm not a plant and I'm not a child, girl. How will I grow? <laughs> what I'm saying is allow yourself to grow on the preparation, on your preparation, okay? Allow yourself to grow. If you have committed a mistake, stand up, do it again. Another mistake, stand up, do it again, okay? It's totally fine. If you're going to do that, that's totally fine, guys, okay? What else? Uh, master the IELTS skill, okay? Listening is a skill. Reading is another skill. Writing and speaking, they're both skills. So you would need to master that. Hindi pa pwedeng namimili ka ng isa lang na gusto mo. 
no? Meron kasi mga estudyante ganun, ay, ayoko lang speaking, magli-listening, listening na lang ako. Ay, ayoko lang reading, magli-listening tsaka speaking na lang ako. Ay, ayoko ng ano, listening tsaka reading, speaking and writing, kailangan ko. Tapos pag natin na exam, ang speaking, nine, ang writing, eight. Wow! Ang listening, five, ang reading, 5.5. Ano ka ngayon? Di ba? You would need to master all of these skills, guys. Okay? Hindi po pwedeng namimili lang tayo. Okay? Never, ever, just choose one skill. Okay? On the IELTS. All right? Moving on. Go back to the main reasons why you're taking the IELTS. If I ask you right now, why are you taking the IELTS? Come on. I want to see honest answers. Why are you taking the IELTS? I mean, ako kung ako... I'm taking the IELTS because because I just want to. Charing. Why are you taking the IELTS, guys? Come on. I want to see brief answers on that. Okay, I want freedom. There you go. That's a good one, Alan Mark. Thank you. What else? Come on. I want to you, Mama. Sabi ni Mam Gladys. <laughs> Hayaan mo, Mam Gladys. Malapit ka ng... Okay. Requirement po sa visa screen, sabi ni JJ. Okay, for, from Tang Una for visa screen. For visa screen. Okay, there we go. Monetary reasons. Ticket to my US dreams. For migration. I want to move to Western countries to work abroad. I want a good life. For my visa screen. To be in the land of milk and honey. For visa screen. Okay, these are good reasons, guys. Okay? But I would want to tell you a better reason. Okay? Listen, listen to this better reason right here. I want a better life for myself. I want a better life for my children. I want a better life for my family. I am the type of person who, did, who grew up having nothing in my hand. And I don't want my children to encounter that. I want my parents to retire comfortably. I want to provide everything for my sisters, brothers, because I am sending them to school. I need to become that person because they are all depending on me. Failure is not an option. Now, tell me, what is your reason why you're taking the IELTS examination? Every time that you feel tired, of your preparation, okay? Every time that you feel tired of your preparation, think of the people around you. Think of your family. Think of your parents. Think of your children. Think of your husband, your wife. Think of yourself. If you grew up poor like me, why are you doing what you do? Every time that people ask me, Joseph, why are you working so hard? I always tell them, I want my mom to retire in the Philippines with a better life. More than what I could give for her. That is, that is enough reason, guys. That is enough reason for you to wake yourself up, to get your goals, to target for your goals, to not give up. Giving up is not an option. Now, I want you to tell yourself this one, okay? Okay, do this with me. Do this with me. This is a very good affirming message. So I want you to do this while, while you're saying this to yourself. Okay, I want you to do this. It's like a hug. I know some of you guys are alone right now in another country. Your family is not there to even hug you. Okay, so hug yourself, my love. Okay, pretend it's Jesus hug hugging you. It's the Lord hugging you. Okay? Okay, let's go. Now hug yourself. Tell yourself, Joseph, your name. You are not going to give up. You're not tired. You are not going to let go of your IELTS goals because your family needs you. You're going to give them a better life, more than what you could ask for yourself. Let's go. Now breathe in. Okay? Breathe in. That's what I do every time that I feel alone. Okay, <laughs> every time that I feel alone, every time that I feel like people are out to get me, 
Every time that I feel like I cannot depend on everyone or anyone around me, I hug myself. At the end of the day, your faith, okay? Your faith is a reflection of your life. Again, your faith is a reflection of your life, okay? Hug yourself. My love, you deserve the love, okay? If only I could go to your places and hug you and knock you one by one, why not? For you to wake up, right? For me to light up a fire under your, for you to wake up. But unfortunately, I cannot be there, my love, okay? So hug yourself, okay? You can do this, all right? Nakakaiyak ba, buddy? Diba? Alam nyo, pag ako nag-motivational lecture at seryoso ko, I wake people up, believe me. Okay? All right. So yeah. Okay? Very timeless message. Praise praise God for this. Yes, God is good, guys. Niyak ako si ah kasi amihan na pala wala akong kayakap. Ayun naman, Ma'am Gladys. Puntahan na lang kita, yakapin kita. Ha? Malapit ka lang naman eh. Puntahan kita, promise. <coughs> yeah, guys, okay? I know sometimes Oh, sorry, guys. I know sometimes it's difficult, okay? Sometimes it's difficult for you to be alone in a foreign country, preparing, and you feel like people do not appreciate you for what you do. And it's difficult, right? But guys, believe me, all you need is yourself and the Lord. The Lord and yourself, okay? The Lord and yourself, okay? Because if you're with the Lord, who are, what are you going to be afraid of? That's what I always tell my students, okay? Find your faith. Find your courage. Okay, you can do this, my love. Okay, now, you do not, you need to always go back to the main reasons why you are taking the IELTS. There will be difficult times in the review process and practice. Believe me, it's not an easy thing. Okay, love, thank you so much for this opportunity. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. You know, mama loves to wake up students, believe me, no? You're really my motivation, mommy. Oh, I thank you, naman, mga anak, no? Of all, you know, when I was really deciding to, when I was thinking of what to discuss this Friday, the Lord gave me a vision. The Lord gave me a vision to, to, just, to just send out love for you guys tonight, okay? Send out love for everyone who's watching this or even those who are going to be watching this later on, okay? Because you deserve the love, my love, okay? All right, so, <clears throat> but... If you always trail back, why? It will bolster your sagacity on your drive to keep on pushing forward on the examination, okay? So every time you feel down, hug yourself, okay? You can't give up now. You've gone so far. You've gone to the extent, okay? You can't give up now. Even if you have failed the IELTS seven times before, okay, don't give up. Just in time, Mama Di, thank you. You're welcome, Hazel, my love. Alam mo, meron akong wonder... Quick story. I have a quick conversation with a student earlier. I think she has taken the examination seven times. Okay? And then, I think it's a good sign because just like this discussion right now, she watched me on the time that I have had a motivational lecture and then she enrolled in Elite Intellect. Okay? And then now she's messaging me, thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, I thank the Lord for this one because she passed her examination after seven takes. Diba? Don't give up. What if the moment that you give up, that's the time that you're going to pass? Diba? You cannot stop digging until you get to the goal. Okay? You must be a goal digger. I wish I knew Elite Intellect earlier. You have a great impact po sa akin. Hi, thanks for that reminder. Last night, I felt so tired, but woke up this morning and told myself, no, my dreams are greater than my failure. Yes. You're welcome, my love. Okay, moving on, guys. Take full responsibility for your IELTS preparation. This is what I always tell my students, okay? Take full responsibility for your IELTS preparation. Now it's time for us to work, okay? Now, what do you mean by this one? But sir, that is why there are review institutions like you for you to be responsible for the IELTS. My love, I cannot go to the exam and take the test for you. If only I can, I will. All right? But then again, no. It's you who will be there sitting on that day, on the examination. The only thing that you will remember are our lessons, our motivations. Our words of wisdom, yun lang. Pero ikaw yun. No? 
Kaya nga mga estudyante, pag nagte-thank you sa akin, ang una ko sinasabi sa kanila, no anak, it's all you. It's the Lord. Last na ako. Last na ako. Huli nyo na akong pasalamatan. Okay? You thank yourself for, you thank the Lord first. Of course. You thank yourself. You thank the people around you who helped you, supported you. Admins of IFNG, your speaking bodies, thank them all. Last na si Inay. Okay? Because I was just here telling you what you need to do. It was you who did the action. All right. So, no, my dear. All right. We are here to guide you, to teach you, and to motivate you. But if you do not take responsibility for your actions and not apply what you have learned, then the chances of success is two out of a hundred. Okay. Always tell yourself, how can I make this work? Okay. Yes. Psychology, psychology says the calmer you are, the clearer you think. Thank you so much, JJ. I love that one right there. Totoo to. No? Guys, no? apply what you have learned. Everything that you have learned at IFNG tonight, apply it every day. If you're taking down notes right now, that would be good. Diba? That would be a good guideline for your, prepar for your preparation. Okay. So, listen to this very wonderful story. Okay? If you just came here right now, you are right on time. Okay? Some students already know the story of Lori, but let me just share Lori to you guys. Okay? Lori is a student of mine at Elite Intellect last year, okay? Last year, Lori has taken the examination eight times before. Eight times. Eight times. She's about to give up. <laughs> She's about to give up on her goal. Sabi niya, sir, ayoko na talaga. I don't really want to prepare anymore. But then again, I watched the live of IFNG. I saw you discussing the speaking there. And then I decided to enroll. So sabi ko sa kanya, Lori, eight times that you have taken the exam, what do you think could have went wrong? Kasi ganyan ako eh. Ina-assess ko yung sujante, saan tayo nagkamali? Okay? And then she told me, I don't know, sir, can you assess me? So I assessed her. I, I found out that her techniques are different techniques every time. Okay? And then I told her, Lori, why don't you just do this, do that? Okay? Kasi ang nangyayari, Lori, it's not realistic. Your preparation is not realistic. If you keep on doing this, you're going to be failing again. Believe me. Okay? And then, Lori was just quiet. Really quiet. To the point that I got scared. Kasi akala ko na-offend ko si Lori. Okay? So I told your Sir Jello, Sir Jello, could you please message Lori? Because I'm getting worried. She's not replying to my messages. Baka na-offend ko yung estudyante ko. And you know what? Lori... Message me after three weeks of being quiet. She has taken her examination. Want to make a guess? What's Lori's score on her ninth take? Ano ang score ni Lori sa ninth take niya? So tingin nyo guys, what's her score? The ninth time that she has taken the IELTS examination. Want to make a guess? Yes. Lori's score is a 9.0. 9.0. That student was about to give up. That student was about to say, hell no, I don't want this anymore. She got a 9.0 on her ninth take. And then I asked her, Lori, what seems to may have happened? Because I don't believe it's me. I don't believe it's elite intellect. Alam mo, sabi sa akin, Sir, because you are the only person who were brutally honest that I was able to realize my mistakes. Ikaw lang. Ikaw lang, sir, ang nagpaka-honest sa akin na tinanggap ko yung mga mali ko and what I did was I worked on it and then I applied it on the exam. You can go back, read at the page of Elite Intellect 9. Naka-upload pa rin doon. Yung IELTS score ni Lori, makikita mo, across 9. Tapos meron siya pagkahaba-habang message. Sobra. She was a student who is about to give up, guys. And she got a 9.0. So do you still want to give up on your goals right now? Let me ask you this question. After all the things that you have heard, uh, we're not yet at the middle of our discussion. After all the things that you have heard, are you still about to give up on your goals? I don't think so. I 
don't think so. Giving up is not an option. Okay. Lavarn, sabi ni Rachel. There we go. I am really inspired. Hope and pray to ace our IELTS exam. You are really an inspiration to all the test takers. Oh, thank you so much, Lita, my love. Okay, there we go. All right. Thank you, sir. This will surely have significant impact not only for in our IELTS, but also in our... Oh, thank you so much, Clarice, my love. Alam nyo ito, yan ang lagi kong ginugol. Everyone can teach you the IELTS, believe me. Everyone. But then again, I wanted to be that person to teach you about life, okay? Teach you about faith, first and foremost. I want to be that person to teach you about faith. Okay, so now, just before we move on to the seminar, okay, guys, I am excited for this. <laughs> sa mga nakaparod po sa amin last year, you already know this one, this program of elite intellect, but It's already making a comeback, okay? It's already making a comeback. I am proud to bring back the USA package, okay? And of course, let me just take this time to congratulate our 20 passers this week under the Elite Extra program, okay? These students have worked well. Their lowest in speaking is 7.5. So congratulations, guys. No, hindi ko na kayo isa-isahin. Ipopost ko na lang kayo isa-isa. The lowest of all the students is 7.5. That is the Elite Extra program. Now, USA Package. Let's talk about this one real quick, okay? Sir, we are now officially opening slots again for our review program, which is USA Package. We are accepting 15 students for the new batch. 15 lang po, okay? What is the USA Package, Sir Joseph, okay? USA Package is quite simple. Unlimited IELTS review, lifetime validity. More focus on the speaking needs of the students because that is required in the United States of America. Unlimited one-on-one -on -one speaking and writing coaching, free book and handouts, 24-7 coach support for the first time in forever, unlimited mock tests, 2,500 discount, pay only 4,999 instead of 7,500. Okay? Kasi ang USA package, guys, that's 7,500 pesos. But if you're going to be availing the 15 slots for USA package, that would, would be only 4,999. But if you enroll as a group of three and above, you're only going to pay 3,999 per student. Okay? So enroll now. We'll be accepting 15 students only for USA package. If you are a student who is preparing for the United States of America, the USA package is for you. Sir, how do I enroll? Okay. Um, Sir Jello will be sending the link of Elite Intellect 9 right there on our chat box at Zoom and at the comment section of our Facebook Live. You can click that right there and message Montanya and just type IFNG USA Package. Okay, IFNG USA Package. She will know what to do. Okay, I'll see you in class. Okay, I'll see you in class for the USA Package. All right, now. Let me just call on one inspirational person too to give you some motivation, okay? Mom Zaya, are you here with us tonight? Hi, sir. Hi, everyone. So, yes. I do think that we have noticed in also uh, uh, our students here. So, I just came back. And I think most of you have noticed that I have been playing motivational podcasts 20 minutes before your classes because it's nice to actually... Uh, Set that kind of mindset that is bound for success. Because um, I've noticed so far, so far, because for the past, I think, year that I've been with Elite, it is quite imperative for us to actually try to um, just change our mindset, okay? To revamp it, kumbaga. Because if we try to just change it, To not be too negative, but realistic at the same time, then it makes a difference really. I feel less stressed and I feel like uh, there is something out there for me. Something good is out there for everyone. Okay, even if I do think that most of our students, not most, but some of you have not passed the IELTS because of maybe the lack of preparation, maybe you're not too confident when answering, or maybe you're just very hesitant on what you can do. Now, yes, given that situation, it's something that we should learn from. We should not mope about it. Yes, cry about it for just a day. Give yourself all the time within that day. But I want you to put 
an end or a, an end date, a deadline for your morn, morning process. And then after that, I want you to stand up, pick up a book or your dictionary, write down different, different or a myriad of lexical resources and get back in the game as much as you can, as fast as you can. And also with that uh, goal in your mind that this time around, you will beat the heck out of the exam, okay? Show them what you've got. Show them that you're capable of everything that you can do and that you are you deserve to pass. Not only to pass, but also to pass it with flying colors. Always try to write down in small pieces of paper. I would tell my students or your classmates to actually write down your full name and then IELTS passer and write down the date or the month that you would want to pass it. Post it in every single mirror that you will see. And every time you go to that mirror, say that I will pass this exam because nothing is really impossible. The human mind is really powerful. And I can see that with students. Yes, there are students that are really capable, are commendable, but they lack confidence. And at the end of the day, did not, they did not pass, not because they're not good, but because they doubt that they're self, okay? Now, there are also students who are not as good as the others, maybe because um, they have um, lesser time in terms of preparation. They are too busy and they have what, what we call as a hectic schedule, but yet they pass because they believed, okay? Our minds are powerful. Might as well discover how to somehow pass using that power guys okay and also remember uh, we have here at elite uh, philippians uh, verse here wherein uh, we would say that i could do all things through god and every single time that i would have an exam i hold on to that and every single time our students will have an exam we remind them of that and look at them they all pass with flying colors so Tonight, the main takeaway that we would want you guys to know is that, yes, we will face failures along the way. And yes, we will meet more or we will even have more failures than successes. But then again, remember that no one in this world, no billionaire, no successful person got it right the first time. Not even me, not Sir Joseph, not everyone here. Um, here is perfect the first time we have to um, really grind towards what we can do right now and it's okay to start bit by bit every single progress that you will have even it's just one lexis one vocab or one grammar uh, correction day by day it will make all the difference so i think uh, mother dragon is now back let me give back the floor to our mother team. Thank you so much, Zay. Oh my gosh, we missed your voice. Super na miss ka namin ito, Zay. <laughs> okay, yes, that's true, guys. Okay? If we would want you to take away two things right now for the discussion, that's Philippians 4.13. Okay? Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay? And of course, no successful person in this world has ever, never, has never ever failed before. Okay? Sabi ni Rachel, thank you, sir, for lifting my spirit. I am an elite student. Just signed mid of October. Started to study the recorded vids because I work GY. But now will really make it possible to attend class and be consistent. Thanks, sir. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Rachel, my love. Okay, guys, going back. Have self discipline. Okay? I always tell my students discipline is one thing. That marks the characteristic of a student who gets a good score on the examination. So you need to be stringent to yourself, your ways, and your habits. At the end of the day, the pass or fail on the IELTS depends on your dedication to what you do. Have an IELTS routine, okay? You must have an IELTS routine. It's like an everyday thing, okay? So here's an example IELTS routine right here, guys, okay? Morning, you can write a writing task one. Okay, go to work and attend the online review. Okay, if possible, if you're attending my classes, okay, or your classes. All right, 
lunch, after eating, finish a listening or reading test. Okay? Go back to work and head home. In the evening, you eat your dinner. Okay? After eating your dinner, write an essay. Okay? After writing an essay, you may attend a practice speaking breakout room or replay the missed discussion of the day. Okay? So that's a good thing to do. All right, that is a good thing to do on the IELTS routine part, okay? You must have an IELTS routine, okay? What else? The IELTS routine is just one to two months of sacrifice with lifetime benefits, okay? Yes, your goals are met. What will happen if your goals are met? You'll you have a better life for your family, your children, okay, your parents. So that's the IELTS routine. All right, what else? Mm. Destroy extirpate and annihilate the habit of making excuses. <laughs> May pagkamisbinche yung pagkakasabi ko nun. Ulitin ko, guys. Okay. Destroy, extirpate, and annihilate the habit of making excuses. Okay? You're not in high school. You don't need a, an, an excuse letter. Chari. <laughs> okay, so... Some people makes making excuses their way of life on the IELTS world. All right? What are these? Okay, what are the common excuses that the students do? Okay, here. I cannot review I am overseas. Hello? All my students are overseas, okay? Many of my students, let's say 80% of my students at Elite Intellect are in the United Arab Emirates, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, in Qatar, Canada, USA. Australia. What's your excuse? Okay, what else? I cannot write today. I'm tired from work. Allah ka, kailan ba tayo hindi napagod sa trabaho, anak? Lahat tayo napapagod after work, no? So you need to write. I cannot do the speaking practice today. I have work. I have students in the middle of the ER, okay? Or I have students in the middle of the COVID ward taking care of patients doing their speaking practice tests. Yeah. Marami ako sadyanting ganon. Okay, what's your excuse? I'm busy with my family and friends. Salaka. Your goal is for your family. Your goal is for your family, guys. Okay? So that's not an excuse. Okay? I cannot speak English well. I am afraid. Mm. Very common excuse. No? I, sir, I cannot speak English well. I'm afraid to speak in English. Why are you afraid? My love. It's not as if when you open your mouth, Monsters are out to get you. Diba? No, it's not that. All right? So, the truth is, making excuses are just an escape for people to not label themselves as indolent or incompetent. <laughs> you need to destroy this because you know that there is no limit to what a human being is capable of. Okay? Don't limit yourself to just that. Okay, don't limit yourself to, uh, I cannot do this. Uh, I, I have work, I have work, I have work. Pag yan ang ginagawa mo, anak, pag bumagsak ka, matatanggap mo rin. Believe me. No? So don't do it, okay? Don't make making, making an excuse a sport, okay? I have seen a lot of students like that before. And don't be one of them, okay? What else? Never compare your IELTS success to the IELTS success of others. Okay. I know a lot of you guys can relate to this again. Listen. Ay, nakapasa na yung friend ko. Kailangan ko na makapasa. Ay, yung friend ko. One month lang nag-review. Nakapasa. Ay, yung friend ko. Ganito. Ay, yung friend ko. Ganyan. Bakit siya ang basehan mo? Hindi naman yung friend mo ang mag exam para sa iyo, anak ikaw, ikaw mismo. So don't compare your IELTS success to your friends or others. Okay? All right. Did you know that you're watching a miracle happen? Yeah. When your friend passed the exam, you're watching a miracle. When your friend flies to the United States of America and you're still here, you're watching a miracle. Is it not tiring to watch your workmate or friend pass the aisles? Is it not tiring to watch your friend go to their target country? Is it not tiring to be there where you are and your friend is already living the life in your dream country? That would be tiring for me. I'd be like, oh my gosh. 
My friend is already there. My friend already passed the exam. But no, it's not tiring at all. Okay? You need to understand that miracles come from those who earned them. You need, to you need to be motivated that God who gave the miracle to your friend is capable of doing that to you if you only put the work that is expected for it. Go back to the first part of the sentence right there. Miracles come for those who earn them. Your friend earned it. Your friend worked for it. God gave it to your friend because they worked for it. At our church, we were taught not to just pray, but to put actions. No? Yung iba kasi, Lord, sana makapasa na ako ng IELTS. Sana makuha ko ni IELTS this time. Pagdating sa bahay, tulog. Di ba? Pag tinawag mo, uy, mag-speaking coaching ka na. Ay, sir, magmumol kami ng mga friends ko eh. Eh, kasi yung isang friend ko, aalis na eh. So, kailangan may padispedida siya. Anak, exam mo na bukas. Ay, hindi sir, okay na yan. Kaya ko na yan. The Lord who did that to your friend, who's successful, is capable of doing that to you too. But you need to earn it, my love. You need to earn it. Okay? You need to earn your miracle. Okay? All right. What else? Never be afraid to speak in English, okay? Unfortunately, I have seen hundreds of students and heard them say, uh, Sir, Sir Joseph, my English is not good. What is the reason behind this, okay? What's the reason behind you telling people that your English is not good, okay? Did you know? Did you know? Let's take a look at the top English-speaking countries worldwide. This is a fact. You can Google this, okay? Top one, USA. 256 million speakers. India, 123 million. Pakistan, 94 million. Philippines, 90 million out of 104 million Filipinos. Nigeria, 79. UK, 59.6 million. Saan nang galing ang English? Sa England. Diba? Pero 59.6 million? Netherlands, 15 million. Denmark, 4.8. Norway, 4.5. Finland, 3.5. Philippines is at number four. What's your excuse? Why would you tell people that you cannot speak in English? Hello, we have 90 million English speakers here in the Philippines. Guys, never be afraid to speak in English. You are Filipino. We are number four. Okay? All right. So what's the excuse, Diva? Out of 104 million, 90 million can speak English. You have been speaking the language right before you even dare to take the IELTS exam. Diba? No mga bata tayo, Apple, Candy, can I have that? May I have that? I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. May I go out, teacher? Angel of God, my guardian dear. nagi english ka na. Nung bata ka pa. Diba? So what's the excuse? You don't even have to learn English anymore. You just have to perfect your English skills. That's basically it. Okay? Oh. Be obsessed with self-development. Again, be obsessed with self-development. What do I mean by this one? Okay. You cannot claim to be successful if you have given up working on yourself. It should be your nature to want to grow and learn new things and to be open. Okay, to learn new things and develop your mind through mentors, reading, and programs. The more you learn, the closer you are to your IELTS goals. This is what I always tell my students. No? Sir, ang hirap-hirap na ng exam. Ang hirap-hirap na mga binibigay mong exam. I always tell them, hey, you are closer to your IELTS goals. Okay. Be open to correction and apply new techniques. No? Some students kasi, when you correct them, they're angry. Nagagalit. Pag kinokorekt mo. No? Okay. As mentors, we love it when students are open to our correction. Not only they accept the mistakes happily, but they look at it in an in-depth light. They apply new techniques away from the crowd. They do not follow what the crowd is following on the IELTS world. Believe me, by just being here tonight, you're already doing one of two. 
Diba? You are not following the crowd. Yeah. Diba? Yung iba, tulog na ngayon. They're already sleeping at this time. Yung iba, nagdi-dinner na. If you are in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia or UAE. Diba? But you are here watching the program, focusing on your IELTS preparation. You're, not, you're already not following the crowd. Okay. Show constant improvement. The difference between a successful IELTS candidate and a candidate who failed is colossal. Okay? The successful candidate takes correction, spends time to transform their errors, and come back and not commit the same errors anymore. However, the failed candidate will keep on doing the errors that they did. Okay, let's say you're a student and then you have a problem with your academic words. Let's say you're not using that word correctly. And then your mentor told you, hey, anak, you're not using the word correctly. And then the following day, you went back to your coaching, you used the same word incorrectly. And then the following day, you went back and used it again incorrectly. That's not, there's no progress there. Okay? You're just repeating the same mistake over and over. So if we tell you that your error is this, okay, I want you to change that. Okay? And then come back to your coaching and then do it, do, do it better. Okay. Invest in your knowledge, okay? Invest in your knowledge, okay? So, it is true that a majority of people would rather buy new gadgets than to invest in their knowledge. You need to amass a program that will benefit you and help you mold your skills. A review program that will guide you and is not afraid to break you just to mold you on your success. Kaya kami sa elite guys, hindi kami basta-basta tumatanggap ng estudyante. Nakita nyo, limited slots kami lagi. 15-15 lang ang tinatanggap namin. Kung minsan 10 lang per week ang tinatanggap namin. Kasi we want to focus on, do on those students. No? Ang mga estudyante, na-experience nilang umiyak sa amin sa coaching. Yeah. Okay? We are willing to break you just to mold you to the successful person that you are. Investing in your knowledge is the only investment that does not have risk. It's all risk-free because what is there to lose? Nothing, but you have all to gain. And that is your IELTS skill and knowledge. Never go to your examination and have the regret, what if I invested in my time reviewing? Diba? May mga ganun eh. Sir, sana pala nag-review ako. Sana pala nakikinig ako ng mga lectures lagi. Sana pala nag-practice ako ng speaking. Invest in your knowledge. That is the best investment right there. No? It cannot be taken away from you. 15 years for unless you grow senile, di ba? Kapag kaulyanin ka na, tsaka mo lang makakalimutan yung skill na yan. So you need to invest in your skill. Okay? And, guys, the most important motivation for tonight. Okay? Look at this. I leave you with this message. Philippians 4.13. Okay? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, now, let me just pray for everyone here tonight, okay? You know me, I love praying for my students, okay? Because I believe that that is the best way for you to, to, to find your goals, to find your faith, okay? Close your eyes, bow your head. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to help the students to prepare for their IELTS examination. Thank you, my Father, because we are, we are, we are seeing your goodness on their preparation on the IELTS exam. And Lord, we praise you for that. Lord, I pray for the students who are watching this right now or for those who are going to watch this, for you to guide them and bless them on their preparation. Give them the right amount of knowledge and, of course, wisdom for them to pass their IELTS examination. Lord, I pray for the for the admins of IFNG, Lord, bless them because their heart is pure in helping the IELTS students. And of course, Lord, I pray for the students or the upcoming students of Elite Intellect 9. Thank you, Lord, for guiding them towards their way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, amen, guys. All righty. So guys, if you would want to avail of the USA package and you would want to prepare with Elite Intellect 9, you may send a message to our Facebook page. Our Facebook page link will be sent there on our chat box at the Zoom meeting and, of course, there at the comment section of our um, live on Facebook. Or you can just search Elite Intellect 9, no space, all small letters on Facebook. And message Mam Tanya, tell her IFNG USA package. All right? Any questions for tonight, guys? Uy, ang saya ng discussion natin ngayon. By the way, thank you, Doctora. 
you law for my, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Dental World Manila. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. M. You're welcome. Okay, so if we don't have any more questions before I bring this back to our admins, in behalf of Sir Jello, Mom Zaya, Mom Tanya, Mom Char, Mom Jerlene, this is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you in class very soon and I'll see you on Friday for our next discussion here at IFNG. So, admins, take it away. Back to you guys. Hello. Thank you so much, Mama D. Thank you so much, everybody, for attending this live stream with us. IFNG and Elite, thank you so much also. Uh, Mama D, of course, and Miss Zaya for her inspiring story. And yeah, that's it for tonight. And hashtag Mama D cares, Elite, hashtag Elite, and hashtag IFNG, everybody. Bye. Bye, Mama D. Love you lots. Hugs, kisses. Bye, guys. Mwah!